Welcome to Ultimate 4 Days Travel Guide for Chicago in United States. Chicago is a vibrant and diverse city that offers many attractions, culture, and entertainment for visitors. Day 1. Start your day by visiting the Willis Tower, the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. You can enjoy the panoramic views of the city from the sky deck, which features a glass balcony that extends 4 feet outside the 103rd floor. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also try the ledge, a glass box that lets you see 1,353 feet straight down. Next, head to Millennium Park, one of the most popular public spaces in Chicago. Here you can admire the iconic Cloud Gate, also known as the Bean, a stainless steel sculpture that reflects the skyline. You can also check out the Crown Fountain, which displays video images of Chicagoans on two 50-foot towers that spout water. Don't forget to take a selfie with these amazing artworks. For lunch, you can choose from a variety of restaurants and cafes in the Loop, the downtown area of Chicago. You can also sample some of the famous Chicago-style pizza, which has a thick crust and lots of cheese and toppings. In the afternoon, you can visit some of the cultural institutions in the Loop, such as the Art Institute of Chicago, which houses one of the largest collections of Impressionist paintings in the world or the Chicago Cultural Center, which hosts free exhibitions and concerts in a stunning building with a Tiffany glass dome. For dinner, you can treat yourself to some fine dining at one of the many restaurants in the Loop, or head to Navy Pier, a waterfront entertainment complex that offers food, shopping, rides, and fireworks. Day 2. Start your day by visiting the Museum Campus, a 57-acre park that hosts three of Chicago's most famous museums the Field Museum of Natural History, which displays dinosaur fossils, ancient artifacts, and cultural exhibits, the Shedd Aquarium, which showcases aquatic animals from around the world, and the Adler Planetarium, which features interactive exhibits and shows about space exploration. For lunch, you can enjoy some fresh seafood at one of the restaurants near the museum campus, or take a picnic to the nearby Northerly Island, a former airport that has been transformed into a natural area with trails and views of Lake Michigan. In the afternoon, you can explore Chinatown, one of the oldest and largest ethnic neighborhoods in Chicago. You can browse through shops selling souvenirs, herbs, and tea. Or visit some of the landmarks, such as the Chinatown Gate, the Nine Dragon Wall, and the Chinese American Museum of Chicago. For dinner, you can savor some authentic Chinese cuisine at one of the many restaurants in Chinatown, or try some other Asian dishes such as Thai, Vietnamese, or Korean. Day 3. Start your day by visiting Wrigleyville, a lively neighborhood that is home to the Wrigley Field, where the Chicago Cubs baseball team plays. You can catch a game if it's in season, or take a tour of the historic stadium if it's not. You can also check out some of the bars and pubs that surround the stadium, where fans gather to cheer for their team. For lunch, you can grab a bite at one of the many eateries in Wrigleyville. Or head to nearby Boys Town, one of the first gay villages in America. You can find a variety of restaurants and cafes that cater to different tastes and preferences. As well as shops and clubs that celebrate LGBTQ culture. In the afternoon, you can visit Lincoln Park, one of the largest and most beautiful parks in Chicago. You can also visit some of the attractions in the park, such as the Lincoln Park Zoo, which is free and open all year round. The Lincoln Park Conservatory, which houses exotic plants and flowers. And the Peggy Notebert Nature Museum, which features exhibits and activities about local wildlife and ecology. For dinner, you can choose from a wide range of restaurants and bars in Lincoln Park. Or head to Old Town, a historic district that offers nightlife, comedy, and theater. You can catch a show at the Second City, the famous improv comedy club that launched the careers of many celebrities. Or at the Zanies Comedy Club, which features local and national comedians. Day 4. Start your day by visiting the Magnificent Mile. A stretch of North Michigan Avenue that is known for its shopping, dining, and architecture. You can find everything from luxury brands to local boutiques. As well as some of the most iconic buildings in Chicago such as the John Hancock Center, the Water Tower Place, and the Wrigley Building. For lunch, you can indulge in some of the best food in Chicago, at one of the many restaurants on the Magnificent Mile, or head to Italy, 
a massive Italian marketplace that offers a variety of dishes, ingredients, and products. In the afternoon, you can explore River North, a trendy neighborhood that is known for its art, nightlife, and entertainment. You can visit some of the galleries and studios that showcase local and international artists, or check out some of the museums and attractions, such as the Museum of Contemporary Art, which displays cutting-edge works of art, the Chicago History Museum, which tells the story of the city's past and present, and the Chicago Architecture Center, which offers tours and exhibits about the city's famous buildings and landmarks. For dinner, you can enjoy some of the finest cuisine in Chicago. At one of the many restaurants in River North, or head to Riverwalk, a pedestrian path along the Chicago River that offers scenic views, food, and drinks. That concludes our four-day itinerary for Chicago. Hope you enjoyed and have safe travels. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content.